In this tutorial, we will teach you how to make a vector illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Over here, we will make a cake piece and shortcuts for the tools will be used. For those, press V to choose the selection tool and P for the pen tool. Choose the shape tool and make a rounded rectangle. This will make a part of the cake body. Change its color to brown with R48, G35, B19. Now with the pen tool, make a curved edge to this part of the body. Copy this portion by selecting it and pressing Ctrl C. Paste it with Ctrl V. Change its orientation by dragging it and place this part on the other corner. Next, drag the topping of the cake. Do this by drawing an irregular shape as shown from the pen tool. Select it, add gradient to it. The gradient is currently in grayscale. Change the gradient slider on the left side to RGB with R238, G78, B156. Shift the gradient bar diagonally. Select this shape, press Alt and drag it. This copies the illustration. Bring the original topping image to the front by right-clicking, going to Arrange, and then Bring to Front. Make an irregular shape to create another pink icing layer for that. Copy it by pressing Ctrl-C, and then pasting it by pressing Ctrl-V. Notice both the top portion of the middle topping and its underneath shadow has been made here, like as that in the previous one. Now select the brown portion of the cake. Copy and paste it to create the lower portion of the body. Bring the middle icing of the cake in front of the brown portion. Once done with this, make a plate underneath the cake. Do this through the ellipse shape tool. For a drawing to be complete, you need to make the shadows of the illustrations you create. First create a darker portion inside the plate to signify its depth. For this, make a smaller ellipse, keep its color black, reduce the opacity to 12%, and choose the Multiply option. For creating the shadow of the cake piece, make a custom shape using the pen tool with black color filled inside it. Apply the same options, i.e. choose Multiply and reduce the opacity to 12%. Next, make shadows for both portions of the plate and apply the same options to them. However, the shadow for the bottom portion of the plate will be a little darker as it is closer to the ground. Hence, keep its opacity at 18%. As the cake piece needs to be in the front, select the plates and the shadows together and send them all at the back. Now only select the shadow of the upper portion of the plate and move it at the back. Lastly, to make the background, Select the Shape tool and make a rectangle equal to the page. Change its color to light yellow with R249, G244, and B220, and move this rectangle to the back to bring the cake piece to the front. By means of these tools, you can make a lot of other illustrations according to your requirement.